Meanwhile in Huna, Matt and Noah are scavenging the dump for a new project. What are we looking for first? Well, I figured we should start off with looking for bike parts. All right, that'll be here. The family is burning through too much fuel to power their house lights and electric tools. Man, well, I guess. Are you serious? Yes. Again? Yes. With their remaining gas supply dwindling, they need to find an alternative source of energy. What kind of bike do you need? What do you need the bike for? The bike is so that I can turn an alternator to charge a battery. Basically turning pedaling into electricity. It's everything I need to build this pedal-powered battery charging generator, I should be able to find the dump. I'll need one with a good chain and good gears. Well, this one's your color. <laughs> the idea behind it is hook up a bicycle to an alternator. You pedal, it turns the alternator, which creates electricity and charges the batteries. Hey, there you go. What do you think of that one, Professor? It might work. All right. That's what's great about the dump, is that you find all this stuff that's still useful. People just threw it away because they got a new one. If you're gonna build a bush home and build a life out here and you want stuff, then here you go. That's a generator. Uh, it looks like a piece of junk to me, dude. Well, actually, I could use its inverter to turn the DC battery into AC electricity. Too much complicated things in my brain thingy. Let me just fetch it for you. I guess one of the reasons that I'm so interested in the physics of electricity is because everything runs on it. All right, man, what else do we need around here? Can you find an alternator? All we are really is a bunch of electrical impulses in our brain. How do you move your arm? Through sending an electrical impulse to that muscle to make it retract. So in essence, electricity is life. Find anything? Not yet. This one looks pretty well scabbed already, Noah, like most of the engine's already broken down. <laughs> I love being a lucky SOB. Nice. The boys have scored all the parts they need for the generator. But before they leave, Matt notices a bush luxury the family hasn't had in a while. TVs? Lots of TVs. Growing up, every Alaskan that lived in the bush had a box of VHS, right? And we'd all swap movies back and forth. Noah, check it out. Yes. Got a TV. Intriguing. Movies are a big thing in the bush, so when you first meet someone new, it's not what's your name, it's how many movies do you have. It has the VCR, and it's kind of clean in there, see? People that, like, didn't have generators and stuff, we'd hook up an inverter that would run off of, like, our boat battery so that we could just get one movie at night. You don't realize living out here that you need that escapism. You need some kind of entertainment, some way that at night you can just zone out. And a nice box of movies, no matter how many times you've seen it, it really helps. Add it to the pile. Excellent, man.